the anatomy and the pathology of the brain can best be appreciated by actually directly looking at and inspecting the brain. So if we take the brain and actually take a look at it, inspect it, dissect it, divide it into its parts, we can actually go a long ways to figuring out what's going on if there's a problem with the nervous system. In fact, the whole reason for learning neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, neuropathology is to be able to understand what's going on with the brain and to be able to solve problems, clinical problems. The first principle for clinical problem solving is that of anatomical or regional diagnosis. Well, if the best way to accomplish that is to actually directly inspect the brain and look at it, how can we do that if this brain is within the skull of a patient? The answer, the window, to be able to look at this brain is the neurological examination. The neurological examination is so much more than just a long list of tests and maneuvers that one must do on physical examination. The neurological examination, if approached in a logical and systematic fashion, can actually help us to know where the problem is. It helps us by looking at anatomical levels as well as systems to be able to localize where in the nervous system is the problem. I think you can get a better idea of how we can do this if we were to use a mathematical model. That model of an XY graph.